Now, in case of a pharmacist, we have to understand that if you want to go back after a pharmacist degree, open a medical store and do what our uncles and grandfathers used to do in their medical stores, I think that is wrong. Not just wrong, but not the future. Going into the future, either you have to do something which is useful or you have to do something which is entertaining. Agar aap in se kuch nahi kar rahe ho na, so you're not, no one should give you money for doing it. Hi everyone, welcome in the 22nd episode of the Mad Talk powered by Game of Pharma. Medical Education Determination Talk. And today we have with us a very special guest, Mr. Ankur Agrawal, sir. I am alumni and also founder of the MedCard Pharmacy. Welcome on the show, sir. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, sir, like right now in India, like in current situation, like if we think about a pharmacist in our mind, so all we know is that wo medicine ko sell kar rahe hai, na kahin. So, uh, according to you, what another role of a pharmacist or like uh, what is the rules and responsibilities of a pharmacist right now in India? Sir? Okay, so let's let's just take a step back and see he okay. worldwide, a uh, doctor has a certain role and so does the pharmacist also have a certain role. Okay. According sure. to... Uh, historical things or rather uh, starting earlier on a pharmacist was supposed to be the second in the chain of command one was the doctor and the doctor used to diagnose a problem with a patient whatever is the problem whether it is fever whether it is hypertension whether it is whatever whatever is the problem and he used to prescribe a drug supposed to work on the patient and the drug is to be taken at a certain in a certain manner at a certain time in the day at a certain frequency the dosage also has to be correct and that uh, has to be taken over a period of time following which uh, either the patient has to come back if he has problem or he has to come back whether he has a problem or not depending on the situation now that is the doctor what is the pharmacist supposed to do? He is supposed to, technically, he is supposed to dispense. Now, the word dispensing is not just about giving you, uh, you are asking me for, say, sugar 100 grams, I am giving you sugar, sugar 100 grams. That is not what is dispensing. Earlier, a lot of compounding also happened, which means uh, different molecules were available. And the pharmacist was supposed to mix them in a certain quantity. Uh, the, the, day, the way we use, we still see at homeopathic places where uh, the dosage form is mixed in front of the patient. Uh, whether it is that white uh, goli, jo, you know, sugar type ki goli, just make certain amount of certain power of uh, liquids or medicines are given. So that is compounding to a certain extent. So the role of the pharmacist changed. He is supposed to give the medicine what the doctor has prescribed. Now the doctor is supposed to write the name of the molecule. We suppose in our case, we take the example of Dolo. Now Dolo is not a brand, not a molecule, it's a brand. The, the molecule is paracetamol. The power may be 500 or 650 or 1000 mg. Now the doctor writes it but he cannot explain to the patient how the medicine has to be taken. What the pharmacist is supposed to do is, he is supposed to say, okay, I am the doctor has prescribed you paracetamol 650 mg. Now, I have XYZ companies paracetamol 650 mg and I am actually supposed to tell you also that I have three different companies. Which one do you want in case I have three different companies? Or if I have an ABC company, I'll tell you that this comp this belongs to, say, a Cipla or a Sun Pharma or a Pfizer or whatever. And then I uh, 
Now, it is not just about giving you the medicine. I also have to tell you, okay, this is paracetamol 650 mg. Uh, you need to take it minimum at an interval of six hours or uh, after food or before food or in whatever case, you should not take more than three or four uh, tablets a day. Now that three or four is also decided by the weight of the person because that is where the dosage form comes into effect. The severity of the problem and the weight of the person. So this is how there are certain roles and he also has to tell you that, okay, if when you're taking paracetamol, you should not do this, you should not do this, you should not take this food or you should not take this uh, medicine also. So there are certain medicines which need to be avoided with each other because they will have contraindications. Also, uh, you should not have cut up with some medicine or something like that. Or uh, this medicine has this side effect. So do not worry if you have a nauseating side effect. If I tell you to have cough syrup, I will probably give you or explain you that, okay, this cough syrup contains dextromethorphan, which has a drowsing effect. So do not drive, ride a car or do anything which is uh, requires a lot of attention because you will feel drowsy within 15 minutes of taking the medicine. So I need to explain all of that as a pharmacist to the patient because that is what is the role. Yes, that uh, maybe a doctor can explain, may explain, but generally we feel that due to whatever reasons, mostly time uh, availability, the doctor does not tell the patient all of that. So that is certain things which are very, very important. And that is truly the role of a pharmacist. Uh, you like uh, well said that patient counseling from the pharmacist side. So, this can just have an example about the like cup syrup and all. So, like cup syrup can there be like you have to take the one tablespoon sometimes. And a uh, patient also does not know the meaning of what is one table of spoon because spoons ki quantity be alagal hai. Like there are five ml, ten ml. So, these type of small, small information create a like, like well benefits for a patient. अगर ये छोटे-छोटे benefits patient counselling से अगर patient को मिलते हैं, तो एक बड़ा impact उसके उनकी life में ऐसे create हो सकता है। So uh, like uh, जैसे आपने foreign countries की बात करी, तो foreign countries में like when I was studying in an article and all कि वहाँ पे pharmacist के role होते हैं verifying the dose, patient counselling also. And so, like, you know, what is it that you are in India? You are in pharmacies better, and you are in pharmacists evolved as compared to the India. Two things are One is what is the. When we say that the doctor is not expected to be able to do this, it is good that we are not expected to be But we should also have that we are pharmacists to be expected. I'll give you a very common example. Uh, vitamin D hai, hai? Vitamin D3 ki goli aati hai, jo 60,000 power ki hoti hai. And, bohut common problem ho ki vitamin D or vitamin B12 ki deficiency honne lag gai hai. Because of the lifestyle. Now, vitamin D ki jo 60,000 power ki goli hai, wo agar kisi ko prescribe bhi ki jai, to hafte mein ek bar leon hoti hai. Roz nahi leon hoti. And कई बार क्या होता है? Doctor जल्दी जल्दी में वो लिख देता है. And he he skips or he misses weekly लिखना. One tablet और उसके बाद weekly लिखना miss कर देता है. Now अगर उसने weekly लिखना miss कर दिया तो you realize the impact of that on the patient. It will lead to vitamin D toxicity not immediately. But probably after 15-20 days, because it is a heavy dose of the toxicity. Ho Similarly, some times misjudge ho jata hai ki, achha, is talk, uh, humne kisi ko likh diya ki paracetamol lena hai. Now, paracetamol ka ek certain limit hota hai. Aap agar uh, crocine ka bottle hota hai na, bottle ki piche de ho ke, to uspe likha tak, X mg for itna kg of weight daily. That is the limit. Now, if you are 80 kgs of weight, then there is a certain mg that you should not cross on a daily basis. 
is not correct. Now, these are all things which has to be cross-checked. So when you say dosage, uh, the power, how strong it should be, that is a, that is a very, very close relation with the weight of the pulse. So yes, sab mein, pharmacist's job is to check and correct and probably talk to the doctor. Not It's not about questioning the doctor. It's about talking to the doctor in case he thinks something is not right or something is grossly wrong. Now, I'll tell you one more example. Aspirin hai, and there is warfarin. Technically, both of them are substitutes of each other. Ek saath kabhi nahi lena chahi, because they will have a very difficult compounding effect. But some doctors write it one of them in the morning and one of them in the evening. It may be justified for a certain period of time, but not for a longer period of time. So those are things which pharmacist either can know during, during his studies or he can keep upgrading because now nowadays, just like chartered accountancy, pharmacists are also supposed to have X number of hours a year of relearning because things are changing and changing at a very, very fast pace. So we need to keep learning in every profession. So that also needs to be done, keeping what is done. Because uh, more than just prescription, over prescription is also a very big danger in pharmacists. So this problems like जैसे कि antibiotic resistance हो गया यहाँ पे इस अगर वहाँ पे pharmacist के mind में है कि I have to only prescribe antibiotic मतलब like uh, just कि इस case में कि जहाँ पे बहुत ज़्यादा needful हो तो वहाँ पे कई आने वाली disease को he can prevent at his level कि यहाँ पे ये मेरी वजह से रुक सकता है यहाँ पे so sir uh, like जैसे हमने pharmacist के rule discuss किए like in the present situation, pharmacists are not all about like compounding, distributing, or sharing information with the patients. It's also about some key skills. Jahan pe aapne baat kari ke constant learning bahut zaruri hoti hai because uh, things are changing year to year. Like market is changing. It need more requirements from the pharmacist. So what do you think that are more requirements right now from a pharmacist? Like from a pharmacist's point of view, I think uh, two things. One, there are very, very peculiar problems that are happening. Uh, too much of medicines is being prescribed, and which is which is a very common problem. Self-medication is also very harmful. When we talk about antibiotic resistance, uh, I would not blame or I would not uh, put the doctors only at fault. I would also put uh, the patient also at fault because uh, popping pills on their own has become a very, very uh, big menace. People don't realize that they should not take azithromycin as and when they please. Similarly, for other antibiotics. Last time, doctor Now, these are all very common problems. Uh, but that is... That is something which has to be taken care of. I think uh, in that line, uh, more than just being aware, because a pharmacist will never know what a patient's history is. So the way National Health Mission is looking at digitizing every patient's uh, history of medication, I think that will play a very, very big role. It is slightly some uh, years ahead. But once we have that, you will exactly get to know which patient has been prescribed which antibiotic at what point in time and what should not be prescribed. So right now, it should be more about uh, how much the pharmacist can help uh, in making the patient understand and avoid overdosage of anything, especially antibiotics. So like one major key area where like, uh, pharmacist can evolve is like taking the help of technology because it's also become uh, like a vital thing for every industry and like majorly for the healthcare right now. Like, uh, yesterday, I had a friend for a medicine with a doctor's prescription and all. So, I was doing a whole billing. Like Medcart or franchise stores, it was a whole proper billing and all. Pharmacy market also become a competitive market. Where Medca, Jesse, uh, Joe organizations have a competition create curdine, 
ताकि जो फार्मेसी है मेरी गली के बाहर इट कैन ऑल्सो बी इवॉल्व इन टर्म्स ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन टर्म्स ऑफ देयर मार्केटिंग ऑल्सो इन टर्म्स ऑफ पेशेंट काउंसलिंग एंड अदर थिंग्स ऑल्सो सो सर अकॉर्डिंग टू यू लाइक हाउ टेक्नोलॉजी बिकम ए की लर्निंग एरिया फॉर ए फार्मासिस्ट देखो नाउ डेटा इज मच मोर इजीली अवेलेबल एंड ऑल द एक्शन रिएक्शन शॉर्टकमिंग्स एक्सेस ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ डिफरेंट ब्रांड ऑफ डिफरेंट मेडिकेशन आर कमिंग आउट इन दी ओपन एंड गुड फार्मासिस्ट those who have uh, a reasonable control and a knack for learning and relearning i have seen them reading a lot about uh, what is the usage or the uh, downside of certain molecules which is where uh, they are able to guide the patient uh, that uh, certain things are not good and certain things have a certain side effect or uh, cross effect when it comes with some other medication now that is so much more important because in india somewhere the rules are slightly lax also and we know that one uh, that doctor to patient ratio is one of the lowest in the world so we cannot expect the doctor to both treat the patients at that speed and be learning uh, of whatever is being developed around in fact Uh, to be very blunt and honest when we talk to doctors about generic medicines they also have a lot of misconceptions about generic medicines now if they are not able to uh, go out on their own to understand this very big factor which can help their patients which has transformed a lot of doctors after their interaction with medcard then how do we expect them to take out time to know more about uh, different molecules suppose if i if i put it today uh, within the diabetic treatment range there is there is a family of gliflozins uh, which is dapa kana empa and so on and then there is a family of gliptins so there are four five gliptins which are already there in the market whether it is lina saxa sita wilda teneli or the earlier ones which is the metformin and glimepiride kind of things so how does one differ over the other how is one better on the other what is the kind of patient which should go on x and not on y and what of say uh, that all can only come through reading through research papers which a doctor should do I, it's good it's easy for us to say that he should do he actually does not have the time to do uh, so a little part of the research that even a pharmacist who can do that can be doing his matlab it's like okay this is my job and i'm doing it and second is it is my job but i want to do it better i want to make it better for my patients so which is where we also at one point in time try to do uh, research on what what family or amongst the family is better for a certain type of treatment and we used to actually talk to certain doctors to educate them also give them reference papers and they would appreciate yes this is really nice a paper because for them the knowledge comes mostly through interaction with company representatives pharmaceutical representatives which have their own vested interests so uh, right or wrong but that is their source of information we only want to provide more authentic correct uncolored information so that they are able to decide that under what uh but ultimately it is different pockets in which you put your patient right there is there are different ways in which you will put them and then you will prescribe the right molecules for them so uh, even for the cholesterol patients how do you differentiate whether you want to put it up put him on a atorvastatin versus a rosuvastatin versus a simvastatin and what are the benefits and the downside so that is what we wanted to be more precise about let's talk about the medcard like uh, so medcard is having right now 100 plus stores like across the india and uh, also 1000 plus job opportunities also in the india so sir like right now uh, what is the ideal candidate 
for a pharmacist job opportunity according to you okay so i'll i'll start from how does the role of a pharmacist differ uh, yeah in the practical world today in india versus today at medca okay so that is where i can probably build it up and explain it better so in india unfortunately a pharmacist has been reduced to mostly a person who is dealing or rather yeah i would say dealing in medicines okay so uh, to be very blunt uh, 90% of the pharmacists today even out of college or ex with experience uh, they come across a prescription and uh, they are able to uh, look at the prescription give the same brand and uh, make a bill and just done if you go ahead if you don't find the medicine they will not be able to offer a alternative to it because they are only knowing the brand part of it. second is if you ask them what exactly does this medicine do uh, they do not have the knowledge for it and they do not take the pain of knowing it through internet which is a very very good source understand the jargon simplify it for the patient and explain it to them by this is what it is for okay so that is currently what a pharmacist unfortunately is doing in the real world at medcard we are trying to make it simple as as simple as possible for the patient which means p when you come with a prescription i will not look at the brand i will go a step further find out what is the molecule so suppose for an example uh let's say telma 40 very very common uh, brand for blood pressure hypertension so telma 40 ka prescription aaya aapne prescription liya to at at a normal store wo telma 40 nikal ke dega aur uska bill bhara ke aapko de dega at a medcard store you say sir this is telma 40 uh, this has telma sartan 40 which is for blood pressure uh, you can take telma 40 which is uh, xyz and uh, and we have uh, another option which is telma status 40 which is uh, for say 70% lower price and then they get into a discussion because he will say ki boss aisa to kya hai ki 10 rupaye ki dawai 7 rupaye mein and then we will get into a quality discussion then we will get into a trust discussion then this question by doctor does not prescribe it and so many more questions come up now you just cannot answer those questions just because you are sitting on this side of the table so you should be actually knowing the answers to explain and you should have the patience because the patient needs to be educated अगर उसको वेब से एजुकेशन मिल रहा होता तो आज के आज के दिन सबके सब एजुकेटेड होते ना वेब पे इतना ज्ञान है कि आज के दिन कोई भी पीएचडी भी कर सकता है बट वो इट इज नॉट सो इजी टू कंज्यूम और अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट एवर इट्स ऑल दैट फॉर टेक्निकल और और एंड द फैक्ट दैट यू नीड समवन टू एक्सप्लेन इट टू यू हैंड होल्ड इट हैंड होल्ड यू टू थ्रू दैट जर्नी ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड एजुकेशन सो दैट इज व्हाट इज बीइंग डन and that is what is being done at medcard explaining to people how things are how things will be and things like that and uh, taking him through the journey of education educating him about generics then he will have how different it is uh, uh, what is the difference in quality or effect and then we will come back and tell him that okay in india all the medicines are manufactured as per government regulations so if the if the medicine is not up to the mark then it will obviously not pass the quality test whereas at medcard we are taking care of who gmp certifications and things like that to ensure that the quality is slightly better than what even the government states and try to educate so we are trying to do a little bit extra than what the market is doing and it takes a lot of pain because uh, i will i will be as blunt as possible whether it's a pharmacist graduate or a non pharmacist graduate we have to take equal pain to explain both of them what we are going through and that helps a lot in in telling people or in 
taking them through. And that is where we are looking at people with the right heart, right intent. Because our patient or our target is a little bit aged. Hai. And they need, they need someone who can be patient to explain it. That is what it is. But yes, we are definitely looking at a lot of people, uh, whether it is they want to have uh, joining hands or working under us as pharmacists or joining hand as franchisees and opening, going back to their native place, opening their own pharmacies with our help, with our support, because we have the largest range of medical, uh, generic medicines, so on and so forth. So there are so many things that we are looking forward to. Yes, definitely. So uh, some of my colleagues also working in the med card as a like uh, pharmacist only and like uh, they are very uh, happy with the L and D of uh, learning and development of med card like fourteen days of training after that the exam and that after qualifying the exam you joined as a pharmacist so like you having the basically having a great base of the uh, the all chemicals of the drugs so sir like. Uh, I, a famous quote is there like cons consistent learning all, not only develops you, also your organization. So, sir, how MedCard is helping pharmacists in their learning and development journey, sir? Deekho, we, are, we have a standard training format Okay. that a pharmacist who is interacting with the customer or the patient should have passed these many tests. And this comes from my learning way back in IAM, uh, when, when I was joining uh, IML, we were told a very simple thing that uh, we will not lower our standards to accommodate you. You will have to rise up, our, rise up to our standards to be a part of the team. So our test and our training is done to ensure that only those who pass the test, who rise up to the level of being a MedCard pharmacist, are standing in front of the patient and talking. Because you are not just... Uh, doing a job of a pharmacist, but also you're doing is representing MedChart, which is which is having a larger objective, and we we stand by it because we want to truly do it from our heart that a patient should know that he has a choice. We have different ways in which we are trying to uh, both use data to our advantage and to make sure that uh, we are doing a better job every day. So and. No matter what said and done, our, our team, which is standing in front of the pharma, in front of the patient, is definitely doing a very, very good job. But ultimately, they are also humans. We can only uh, expect them to perform at 90, 95% of their capability. 5% uh, chances of skipping things, not errors, but skipping things is always possible. So we are trying to introduce technology to make sure that the customer even if there is something which is skipped by the pharmacist comes to know about it. Secondly, how can we improve uh, whether the stocking of the store we are learning earlier we used to do it in some manner, today we are used to do it in other manner. Today, by using data analytics, what we have done is there are more than 1100 molecules which are available at each and every store. 1100 unique molecules with the minimum number of SKUs. Uh, I don't know if you can understand it, but uh, the number of items which are kept at Medcard is 10% the number of items which are kept at Apollo. But the chances that you will find a medicine which has been prescribed to you is higher at Medcard compared to Apollo. Because we are using molecular intelligence. Mm -hmm. Right? So it's a we are breaking down things into a format which is much easier for us to help the patient rather than just to our advantage. So we are able to see that in numbers, we are able to feel that, and we are improving that every day so that patients at the end of the day are benefited, not just us. So uh, different things, in even, even our learning and development, we have, we earlier had one program of learning and development. Now we have quarterly learning updates, which comes, audio-visual learning which people can learn from any time because it is not necessary that everyone is free in the same time. Uh, we have to train people across hundreds of locations. So how do we educate them remotely, better, at their convenience, and take a test of theirs once their uh, 
audio visual learning is done so all of that is has to be done over and over again it is not a one time job ki aapne kar diya wo ho gaya that is that does not happen you have to keep on doing it how a retail pharmacy look like in 2030 like it all will be like technology oriented and how pharmacist will look like in like 2030 2030 let's understand what will be the major changes that will come that will drive the 2030 pharmacy changes right yeah now one of the very big changes that we see which is inevitable is two parts one is use of technology because uh, no matter what set done a country like us has moved to e prescription so a country like india where so many things have moved online e prescriptions or digital health record of patients is something which is uh, which has to happen which is in escapable theek hai now that has to happen and there is nothing that can be done about it so we need to be absolutely clear see that there is a very very high chance that will happen now once that happens and that is also done according to uh, the law in principle which is writing in molecule names uh, these two things will drive a lot of changes and hence the pharmacist will be uh, more responsible in administering medicines because apart from otc everything will have a digital footprint ki uh, to explain ki xyz doctor ne aapko panch dawaiyan likh ke di hain aur us panch dawaiyon ki itni hi quantity deni hai utni hi quantity aap dispense kar sakte ho ya usko de sakte ho aapke prescription se aapka invoice record match hoga aur utna hi aap usko de sakte ho so you will have a lot of tracking there today the way a lot of pharmacists are working pharmacies are working without a digital track record that will cease to exist theek hai uh, it is more easier said than done but there are certain hospitals which have moved completely to digital health records and uh, government is also trying to make sure that all government hospitals all of them move to digital health records in some way or the other over the next 2 3 4 years a lot of it has already been done but a still start slightly more thing will have a very concrete step now once this entire thing happens digitally so the burden on the pharmacies will also come down because right now we are we are in a situation of chaos because a paracetamol 500 has thousand different brands this are koi use nahi and that leads to so much of wastage of medicines that you cannot imagine theek okay? uh, hai so all that needs to be rationalized over prescription ho raha hai bekar ki dawaiyan bik rahi hain koi kuch bhi leke ja raha hai uske upar uh, you are having wastage of medicines now these are all criminal based बिकॉज जो गरीब आदमी है उसको मिल नहीं रही है और बाकी दवाइयां वेस्ट जा रही नाउ ऑल दिस विल चेंज यस द फार्मसीज विल बिकम मोर टेक नॉट सैवी आई वुड से बट टेक्नोलॉजी ड्रिवन सो पीपल हैव टू बी मोर कॉशियस मोर मतलब फिर उनको अपना काम करने में ज्यादा क्लैरिटी रहेगी अभी देर आर टू मेनी थिंग दैट इज डूइंग राइट नाउ विच आर प्रैक्टिकली नॉट एडिंग वैल्यू so 2030 what we see is a pharmacy which is uh, much more uh, organized digital uh, having uh, the pharmacy is, is having enough time to do his job properly if you look at a company started by mark cuban which is at cost plus drugs you will actually realize that the cost of the drug is very less there is a pharmacist fee which is 3 dollars per prescription which is being put in and which is where the role of the pharmacy is actually justified now that's a wonderful step i think that is one thing one step in the right direction going forward that will be the way of uh, administering things yeah, india should pick up that
may not be three dollar per piece, but whatever it is, that is that is the way that we should uh, innovate. Like totally agree, sir, on your point that uh, the major thing in uh, healthcare space right now is health data. The major startups are working on uh, this, like using AI, ML on this thing, and also working like Driftcase and many other startups are working on it. And so at the end of this podcast, sir, I just want to know some parting thoughts from your side for budding pharmacists, for like pharmacy entrepreneurs also. It is not about pharmacy owners or franchisee owners or whatever. It is more about uh, if you if we want to look back on something, the biggest learning that we can do is from what Geo did in 2016. It transformed the way telecom was working. It transformed the way we are using data. It transformed the way we are connecting. We are learning, and we are using UPI. And we are the fastest, fastest adopting nation in the world when it comes to digital payments. Now, where am I heading? I am heading towards not just convenience, but also how can things be done easier? What is in the best interest of the customer? Because ultimately, whatever you are doing has to be useful to the customer. I don't know for how long we will be able to uh, justify a Zepto kind of thing ki 10 minute mein aapko delivery mil rahi hai. Matlab aapko kya chahiye 10 minute mein yaar. Aadhi ghante mein ambulance aata hai, 10 minute mein ambulance la do, samajh mein aata hai. Because those are critical moments. But 10 minute mein aapke ghar mein biscuit pahuncha ke kya mil raha hai, mujhe nahi samajh. So, whatever, there are, there are justifications, I don't want to get into it, but whatever we do should add certain value and that, that value has to be appreciated by someone who's getting that value. So when Jio came in with data, everyone was like, itna sasta kar diya, koi survive nahi karega. But today, everyone is making profit even at that level. And the customer is very happy because he's able to do tens of things. Same thing will happen in each and every industry. People will look for choice or people will look for convenience or people will look for the best education-driven choices. Now, in case of a pharmacist, we have to understand that if you want to go back after a pharmacist degree, open a medical store and do what our uncles and grandfathers used to do in their medical stores, I think that is wrong. Not just wrong, but not the future. But after that, it will be difficult. Because the world is moving. The country is moving in a direction where the customer has to be able to uh, get information and be aware. I don't know if you know, but uh, the name of the game is whoever educates the customer wins because the customer remembers that Mereko is not a generic. He is not a Now, how can you be part of the change rather than ignore the change? Whatever field you want to enter, whether it is a pharmacy or anything else. How can you educate the customer better? And in the process, the customer is valuing you and is making you earn some money. So, uh, this is one way in which we are able to make not just a difference to people's lives, but the ecosystem at a whole. Because hum, hum kar rahe usse, uh, yes, medicines are 70, 80, 90% cheaper than what they can get. No doubt about it. And there is no parallel to it. But a bigger difference is if we are if this ecosystem improves, we will be able to make a difference to the entire wastage and things like that and move to a much more efficient. They go wastage jo hota hai, ultimately wo customer ke pocket se jayega, cost uske pocket se jayega, koi, koi apne pocket se nahi So if we are able to reduce the wastage, reduce the inefficiency, then the benefit will be to the customer. And the person who's using that entire uh, gap where the wastage is, which can be at the pharmacy then. So in our ecosystem, yes, uh, you have to be futuristic, future looking. Aage kya hone wala, uske se kaam karo, rather than kya chal raha hai. 
बिकॉज आज नहीं तो कल तो बदलाव आएगा और उसको कोई नहीं रोक सकता मतलब जिस तरह से हमने तीन साल में सीख लिया कि वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंसिंग के थ्रू पॉडकास्ट हो सकता है जो भी हो रहा है तो आगे जाके बहुत कुछ ऐसा होने वाला है जो हमने आज सोचा नहीं होगा शायद कल को फाइव जी रियालिटी में हम लोग पॉडकास्ट नहीं साथ में एक दूसरे का लिटरली वीडियो के साथ हम लोग इंटरेक्ट कर रहे होंगे सो वी हैव टू बी रेडी फॉर ऑल एंड दैट इज द फ्यूचर देर इज नो डिंग फ्यूचर आईदर यू हैव टू डू समिंग विच इज यूजफुल और यू हैव टू डू समिंग विच इज एंटरटेनिंग अगर आप इन दोनों में से कुछ नहीं कर रहे हो ना तो यू नॉट no one should give you money for doing it ya to useful hona chahiye ya fir entertainment hona chahiye because yahi do cheeze hain jisme anyone and everyone whether it is a 60 year old uncle or a 18 year old kid usko kaam mein aayegi ya usko entertainment chahiye tisra kuch nahi sir thank you so much for the podcast sir it's been a great session i am totally loving this and yeah thank you so much sir for the podcast sir Thank you thank you for the time